Test, test, test. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's Francis Undead. I, I'm your host for today's um, episode of uh, Entrepreneurs All Need Friends and Yet. So it's gonna be the uh, second episode and uh, I would like to talk about the uh, uh, automation and uh, nowadays um, method of entrepreneurship you know there are there are uh, quite a number of angles for you to work on say you know you can uh, first of all the uh, very first uh, step to achieve financial freedom is to achieve the um, automation process especially when it comes uh, when it comes to the automated workflow processing orders processing uh, you know in uh, response to your customers uh, inquiries orders and uh, shipment if you run if you happen to participate in the uh, physical form of economy you will have to you have to um, coordinate the shipment the uh, delivery as well as the dispatch uh, dispatchment of your goods and I uh, items um, even if even if you happen to run a business that um, pri um, primarily depends on selling non-physical products in order to make a profit say uh, uh, such as you run a web designing company or a web page or you know a advertising agency then you will still have to work between the angles to achieve a fast and you know both fast as well as an efficient delivery of goods you know the pa the process of fast as well as e efficient way to deliver your goods or services. So then, it is terribly crucial that you team up with the right person who can actually take care of, you know, the process. You know, not uh, necessarily the entire process, but at least it, it has to be, uh, you know, chain after chain, sub processes after sub uh, processes. Most importantly, though, uh, these. Par particular teammate or this particular squad mate or this particular person has to has to take you know the process very seriously and if she or he or she has has to be keen on looking after the business that is to say that you must have at least some mutual benefits with that particular person this person can be your uh, friend can be your say your uh, you know partners your say even your sexual partners probably and uh, even your landlords even uh, you can find someone at um, you know at at a church you know but don't do not depend on you know on the friends on the on the uh, so the so-called friends that you manage to that you manage to make, to make or, or, or you manage to forge the uh, relationship or the temporary relationship with, you know, with whom, with with whom you made a temporary alliance or relation relationship with. It, it has it at least has to be a relatively long term, say, a, at least one year or two years or even one and a half years or even ha half a year, you know. Um, and uh, one thing to take to uh, one thing that needs your particular attention is, you know, the uh, co co um, co working space. While most uh, most co work co working space owners they don't appear too forthcoming about their motives. Uh, at least in the in the very beginning, in the very uh, beginning, you uh, occupy that space. 
you will have to at, at least work work with them for for a while, at least for a moment. You know, pin pinpoint the uh, mutual benefits uh, you have with 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 these folks, and uh, you know if so. Uh, and uh, you know if, even if you are an you know if if you are an employee who works for someone else for an employer you will also notice that your um your your superiors they often don't appear too forthcoming about their motives about their um you know their inner genuine thoughts you know too um obviously or evidently you know so you will have to work between the ang the be between the angles, you know, to to, to extract the uh, right piece of intel or information and uh, apply it at the right uh, timing. And uh, there's a oh, I I would also I would like to point another. Uh, sorry. A Excuse me. I, I I would like to point out another piece of crucial intel that you must know, which is never underestimate the uh, power of uh, of automation. Work, especially work uh, workflow, work process, as well as the uh, you know uh, you know how the customers you know. Sorry, what the uh, customers tend to do with the service or the products that you the you um, you uh, did you deliver to to them once they are de uh, delivered and what happens next e exactly you you will have to a a a at least have a bit of insight on what happens next once they made once they made their purchase and uh, you know uh, you can you can refer to you know the uh, uh, video games industry there are a couple of games that you will you will find quite enjoyable to play to play with over and over even if even if you have com you have you have completed many 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 far too many complete walkthroughs you will still find it very interesting to to walk walk through it over and over the uh, there are typical examples like some are some RPG games some role-playing game like you know um, Dragon Age uh, in Dragon Age uh, Inquisition published uh, and developed sorry not not exactly but published but uh, both Dragon Age Inquisition Mass Effect trilogy Mass Effect and Andromeda they are Developed by Bioware, and uh, Bioware is an excellent example of uh, you know tech startup, uh, tech entrepreneur entrepreneurship that you you uh, you can uh, truly learn something from. You know, so you see one, once a game, uh, once they launch a game. Uh, and uh, they con they continuously and constantly develop the uh, you know the uh, downloadable con con content, also known as the DLCs. That keeps uh, you know that keeps these whole uh, systems uh, evolving, developing, and uh, it keeps just it keeps gro growing and uh, growing by itself. As if, as if it keeps growing and uh, evolving by itself. You know, thanks to the ever-growing number of players or users. You know, that's uh, I suppose that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty awesome e example for you to refer to. And uh, you know, as well as you know, look for some more co-work space, co-working spaces in, in in short, and consult with the owner of that co-working spaces that that you choose to work at.
So uh, pretty much that that would be all for this episode. That that would be all. That would be pretty much all that I, I can think of at the moment. And I do apologize for my stuttering. And uh, you know, re uh, re uh, recently there's been a lot um, ha happened to to me. My 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 dad caught a bit of a uh, you know uh, a blockage. Some blockage occurred to his blood vessels in his brain so so let's uh, pray please help me pray you know pray for him and uh, uh again thank you for watching thank you for watching sincerely and uh, i shall see you on the next episode of francis and dad francis and dad's own analysis on nowadays um, entrepreneurship thank you for watching god bless peace out Stay strong, stay tuned. Cheers.